federal court to Texas drop your voter ID law before November. A federal appeals court found it discriminates against low income and minority groups. NBC Justice correspondent Pete Williams has a breakdown for us this morning. Pete. Well, Jose, the judges in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals did not completely throw the law out. What they said is it has the effect of discriminating against minority voters, and it sent it back to the trial judge in Texas to try to figure out some way to modify the regulations so that those minority voters can have a better chance to vote at the polls. So the, te the Texas law was one of the strictest in the nation's. Here were the forms of voter IDs that would be honored at the polls. It included a driver's license, a state-issued identity card, a uh, license to carry a gun, a military ID, a passport, a citizenship a certificate. But the challenger said it did not include forms of ID that many minorities would be more likely to have, such as a student ID card or a government, ID, government employee ID card. Those would not be honored, and that's why many people said Texas was the re most restrictive law in the country. Now, the appeals court did not say that the legislature had the uh, intention to Discriminate. What it had said is that the law had the effect of discriminating, but it didn't go so far as to say that was what the legislature intended it to do. So now it goes back to the trial judge, and it's going to be up to the judge to come up with some sort of remedy. For example, allowing people who don't have these IDs nonetheless to vote if they fill out some kind of affidavit, attesting that they're legally qualified to vote, or perhaps allowing some different forms of ID to be used. Texas could appeal. It says it hasn't made a decision yet, but the only place to appeal is to the U.S. Supreme Court, and with the court out for the summer and divided four to four, it's not immediately clear Texas would get the kind of relief that it wanted. And by the way, the appeals court opinion came out yesterday. That was the last day that the U.S. Supreme Court had said the appeals court has to decide the case in order for there to be some kind of change or some kind of uh, rule put in place in time for the general election in Texas. Nonetheless, uh, advocates for citizens or voting rights said that the, uh, the, the decision was a very strong one in their favor, Jose. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.